Join me, 48 Hours Correspondent Erin Moriarty, on my podcast, My Life of Crime, as I take on true crime investigations like no other. This season, I'm looking into the labyrinth of crime and secrets within families. I'm cutting straight to the evidence and talking to the people directly involved, including investigators and the families of victims. Listen to My Life of Crime with Erin Moriarty wherever you get your podcasts. Spinner. Welcome to Notebook, your guide to art, culture and tourism here in Tokyo and throughout Japan. I'm Stuart Munro, and around this time each Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I'll be sharing local news and views. On today's episode, Golden Week recommendations. But first, the moon. An attempt by the Tokyo-based startup company iSpace to achieve the world's first private sector lunar landing ended in failure on Wednesday. The company said that its lunar lander, which was launched last December aboard the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, attempted to land on the moon in the early hours of Wednesday morning Japan time, and that communication with it was lost soon after, more than likely due to it crash landing. iSpace is now planning another launch for 2024, According to the company, the lunar lander, which was circling the moon at almost 100 kilometres, began its final approach around 12.40am. After slowing down, the probe had been due to land near the Atlas crater, in an area known as Mare Frigoris, or Sea of Cold, an hour later. According to John Kirby, coordinator for strategic communications at the US National Security Council, there were no plans to have Japan or anywhere nearby host US nuclear-powered submarines capable of carrying nuclear warheads. However, he did reveal, speaking in a recent press conference, that Washington does have plans to dock US submarines in South Korea, for the first time since the end of the Cold War, to counter and deter North Korea's accelerated weapons and missiles programme. The organiser of the 2025 World Expo in Osaka is considering selling one-day tickets at around 8,000 yen, or 60 US dollars per person. The organiser of the Japan Association for the 2025 World Exposition had considered a lower price of 6,000 yen or 45 US dollars, but raised the level to between 7 and 9,000, having experienced a general rise in costs. Operating the expo will mainly be covered by ticket revenue, and the organising committee has estimated operating costs to be 80.9 billion yen. But last month, Hiroyuki Ishige, the expo's secretary general, pointed to the possibility of operating costs ballooning, citing the need to strengthen security in light of North Korean hostility and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Tickets should go on sale from the end of November, or 500 days before the start of the expo, and plans to offer discount tickets for weekday and nighttime visitors. And finally, Japan has officially decided to downgrade the legal status of COVID-19 to be a level on par with seasonal flu for May 8th, and pave the way for life in Japan to return to normal. The downgrading comes as the government also mulls lifting its remaining border control measures by bringing forward their complete removal by more than a week to midnight tonight, in anticipation of the National Golden Week holiday season that starts tomorrow, and the expected increase in people travelling overseas, as well as an increase in international visitors to Japan. With Fridays here on Notebook, devoted to the arts, we recently spoke with three gallerists, asking for their thoughts on what's worth seeing in Tokyo and what is not. One of these is Jeffrey Rosen, who alongside his partner Misako runs Misako and Rosen, a gallery in Otsuka, north of Ikebukuro in Shinjuku, and the gallery is currently showing works by the Chicago artist Richard Rezak. So XYZ in Sugimo, basically. That would be my top pick of all the shows that are up right now. Yeah. Uh, What's your next show after Richard Rezak? We're opening with uh, Kaoru Arima. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. New paintings, sculptures, and uh, photographic works. Huh. On canvas. The art, art Drug Center comes to Tokyo, basically. Yeah, yeah, the Art Drug Center comes to Tokyo. Um, I've seen the sculpture, it's pretty incredible. <laughs> I've seen the paintings, looks pretty incredible, and I've seen reproductions of the 
photos on canvas, which is also pretty special. Um, when, when is that show opening? Well, I should know. <laughs> <laughs> when you get back from the States again. It's, it's going to be... Uh, I think it's going to be... Late May or very oh, okay. early, very very early June. Kind of soon, really. because I take off for Basel. Yeah. Uh, probably on the sixth of June. Huh. So it has to be the very beginning of June or the very end of May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. well, we've got the Golden Week holiday coming up, so. And what are you doing for Golden Week? I'm gonna go to. Thank you. We're going to Fujia Hotel. Um, with our daughter, and then we're going to Odawara. And Odawara, we're going to the Kamaboko Museum, <laughs> Excellent. where you make your own kamaboko and um, chikua. Fantastic. Only the second time we've done that <laughs> as a family. Uh, that and hopefully Aloha whiskey. Oh yeah, yeah. they're open on uh, the golden during the golden golden holiday. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. We'll have a nice holiday. Thank you. Cobra is director of XYZ Collective in Sugumo, one station over from Otsuka on the Yamanote line. XYZ Collective is an alternative artist-run space located in a former basement snack bar that currently hosts a group show of watercolours by a selection of young, influential artists from Japan and around the world. If you were to choose something that people need to see in Tokyo mm -hmm. right now... Ah, what is it? Ah, uh, are there? Togenoki Temple in Sugamo. For the future, if you want to some luck or happy. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. You can get. Nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, you are talking about the art. Well, you know, you know, art gallery. Good. Art gallery is good. Ah, exhibition. Place. Doesn't have to be museum, oh, so. gallery, place. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, to happy ending massage, right? Ah, exhibition. <laughs> oh, <laughs> exhibition. Yeah. Is there anything that you think needs to be seen apart from? Ah, to do what? Ma, are there any? Roppongi Museum. They have some anniversary show for twenty years. Ah, Mori Museum. Mm -hmm. Mori Museum. Yeah. Is that any good? Yeah, good. Yeah, very nice show. Yeah, that twenty anniversary. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your What's your favorite exhibition? Uh, Do you uh, have one? Hagiwara Project. Ah. Uh, yeah. But <coughs> until this week, the kind of thing. Yeah, I think it's been extended. Ah, no? uh, so. Joanna Petroska. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, quite nice show. Yeah. I think best show in. And have you? In the world. Have we? Yeah. Nikki Kuen. The cookie, the cookie mm -hmm. is kind of super, is that more kom komogome? Yeah, but uh, you can walk from Sugamo around ten minutes oh, by okay. the walk. Uh -huh. But also, yeah, you know, com you can walk from Komagome Station. Sure, also. That's true, yeah. yeah, it's easy. It's Japanese garden, famous garden. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are you doing for Golden Week? Do you stay in Tokyo or go? I'm working here. Are you open all the mm -hmm. way through? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, because I have to get the money. Yeah, okay. Yeah. For my farming. Yeah. <laughs> Got to earn a living, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Takayuki Kubota runs Fig, an artist-run space and project on the floor above Miss Akko and Rosen. And his current show is a series of anti-paintings by the clone-based artist David Atrowski. Imashun san is have just started the show at Opera City. Yeah. And what else? Um, if you were to go to a museum show, mm. for example, mm. what museum show? <laughs> <laughs> 60 billion dollar question. Museum shows. Um, or, oh. make it easier, museum. Period. Museum period. So it doesn't have to be a particular show. Mm. To see like many works, more more wouldn't be a bad option, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. As a show, I wasn't so sure. Yeah. But like to see like like all the different kinds of works like in one time, kind of 
I think it's a, it's a little bit tricky. But I don't know how strong it is as a as a shot. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And like in terms of art and craft museums, mm. what would be a good recommendation, good museum to go and see if you wanted to go and see like, Edo Jirai or something? There is like a printmaking museum in Machida. Mm. They have a good collection. Yeah. yeah. Print, printmaking. I think Machida, what is it? Printmaking museum, maybe. It's a hangar museum, yeah. So, like, they show these, like, um, tashakuzuri, it's like a multi block oh. painting. Hmm. But also, they do more curated. This is more like a 15th to 19th century natural history. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, so it's not quite contemporary art, sure, yeah, but yeah. I think it's also. What's the name of the museum again? Um, Machida City Museum of Graphic Arts. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool, 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 cool. That and... So, ne. Muskashi. Muskashi, ne. Museum. Oh, no. There will be big, bigger shows, I think, from like June, July, right? Like, like David Hockney or like, you know, those. Oh, the one at the yeah, MIT. Yeah, MIT. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay, because it's a seasonal thing, isn't it? Just yeah, through, it's like seems in between, in between, I think. Yeah. Yeah, all the bigger shows, like, kind of end up in March, April. Uh -huh. And the next one begins from, like, May, June. After July. Golden Week and all of those holidays. Yeah. Okay, okay. What else? The art and cards. But the one in Komaba, you, you know, you know, they always have, like, a nice... Mingeka. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mingeka. Mm -hmm. Mingeka. Yeah. Mingeka is always the best place to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. To see these kind of things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Notebook will be taking a short break during Golden Week and return in early May with more news views and field recordings. In the meantime, if you have any sound from a part of Japan you'd like to hear or thoughts you wish to share, send us a message. You can email the notebook team, notebook.podcast at gmail.com, or simply leave a voice message at speakpipe.com forward slash notebook. Until next time, thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.